you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching yeah, breaking news uh, 7,000 online signed petition demanding trial of uh, President Buhari by International Criminal Court, uh, which is the ICC. Well, I have already said it that uh, come 2023, you know, as soon as uh, Buhari's uh, tenor elapses, yes, the International Criminal Court uh, will come for him and uh, all his uh, alias because of uh, the doom and uh, the havoc he has committed, uh, especially in the area of uh, uh, security. You know, by you know violating the fundamental rights of its citizens that it's supposed to protect and the petition was initiated by Reno Mokri, a former special assistant to Nigeria's former president good luck Jonathan in the era of uh, People's Democratic Party PDP an online petition has been launched on the web-based petition aggregator change uh, org uh, the petition was uh, addressed to the International Criminal Court uh, to arraign President Muhammad Buhari uh, over his crimes against uh, humanity. A petition to the ICC to arraign uh, Muhammad Buhari for crimes against humanity and violation of human rights. Uh, the International Criminal Court, uh, which the petition, uh, which has uh, gathered uh, 7,013 signatories as of the time of filing this report as his title a uh, petition to the ICC to arraign uh, uh, Buhari for crimes against humanity. The petition was initiated by Reno Mokri, a former special assistant to Nigeria's former president, Good luck, Jonathan. Uh, he treats uh, on October 20, 2020, uh, the Buhari administration murdered multiple innocent unharmed uh, peaceful and sat uh, protesters at the Lekito Gate in a massacre that has since been dubbed a uh, lucky massacre. Uh, which is the hashtag lucky massacre these youths were protesting to put an end to the rampart uh, police brutality that had become the hallmark of the Buhari regime which uh, treats so-called uh, repentant Boko Haram almost like a uh, royalty while uh, coming out on young Nigerians and uh, sometimes for the uh, film CS uh, reasons uh, such as wearing uh, dreadlocks or thereabouts uh, following the murders of these uh, protesters, uh, the Buhari administration denied that the incident ever occurred, uh, especially the information minister, Elai uh, Mohamed, uh, who debunked the news that it was a fake uh, news and also accused DJ Switch, uh, who released one of the footages uh, to that event and also denied uh, you know, being uh, 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 denied that the government being responsible uh, for uh, the uh, genocide attack or uh, by ordering the soldiers or the military to go and, you know, destabilize the peaceful protesters or NSAS protesters. They threatened uh, those like uh, myself uh, who insisted uh, which prove uh, Reno Mokri that this massacre happened, yes, uh, they disengaged um, Reno Mokri and uh, the government even threatened to jail people who called for those behind the murders had uh, to be brought to book. However, on Monday, November 15, 2021, the Legal State Panel of Inquiry into NSAS uh, released its report to the state government in which it established judicially that not only did the massacre occur, but that the government of uh, Muhammad Buhari and uh, its agents, uh, the Nigerian Army and police, uh, perpetrated the uh, murderous act. Uh, this pet uh, petition is therefore directed at the International Criminal Court to set a machinery in motion for the trial of uh, Muhammad Buhari for crimes against humanity in the same way that former Liberian President Charles Taylor was tried and uh, convicted. On this day, November 17th, uh, when my beloved twin sons are celebrating their 14th uh, birthday, uh, they have permitted me to use their special day to call for justice for the many sons and daughters who will never have another birthday because Barry killed them in their prime. Mm, Barry for prison 2023. That is uh, the hashtag. On Monday, the Lagos State Judicial Panel on Special Anti Robbery Squad SAS related abuses submitted its report to the state government.
the findings of the panel set up uh, to investigate the shooting of peaceful protesters at the Lekki toll gate in Lagos uh, during the demonstrations against police brutality in October 2020 and also confirmed in its report that at least nine persons were killed and died uh, during that process uh, by this so-called uh, military uh, invasion the soldiers. The report uh, released by the panel on Monday also confirmed the excesses of the police and military personnel as well as the ugly incidents that uh, happened at the target. The panel had also described the killing as a massacre. Mm, even it was released uh, on CNN uh, that the massacre took place at the Lekki Gate just because uh, the peaceful protesters, you know, were trying, you know, to protest, uh, protest uh, so that uh, their voice will be heard against uh, the special anti robbery squad who have a uh, demi fit to make sure uh, that uh, they uh, left the their uh, job, they left uh, their uh, first duty just to protect the uh, citizenry. Uh, but instead, they try uh, to, you know, uh, try to extort. Uh, citizens you know attacking them accusing them and also you know invading into their privacy uh, just because they are holding or carrying ammunition well uh, it has been said that uh, the special anti robbery squad uh, which uh, their slogan or the name depicts uh, do not really know their job uh, they are just special anti robbery squad but you don't just you know attack citizens you know accusing them of uh, wrongdoing or accusing them of fraud or accusing them of uh, criminality when the court has not even uh, given you warrants to search their house or neither the court has not even you know left verdict that they are suspect or they are about but as it is yeah, they left their job so they started connoting nuisance you know trying to you know jeopardize uh, their efforts well somebody says please i need to decide to vote for uh, Buari um, try at uh, Hago. Uh, well, uh, please, I am opening two sides to petition one. Uh, Jonathan, for sharing with Dazuki and uh, PDP supporters the $2.1 billion uh, meant by arms to fight uh, Boko Haram for defense of the people of uh, Borno State, uh, which Jonathan refused to buy, uh, that made innocent Borno people become defenseless and uh, led to this death of uh, 27,000 people. Well, we are talking about uh, Buari here, uh, and you are referring us back to uh, uh, Good luck, Jonathan. Well, in the uh, in, in the absence of non uh, answer to this your question, I will still tell you there there is an answer for you. Uh, the so called uh, uh, good luck that you said uh, refused to buy ammunition. Could you believe? Good luck tried all his old best uh, to buy ammunition. Went to the U.S. Uh, he was countered. Went to South Africa. He was countered. You understand? I stand to be corrected. You can you know uh, give yourself a reference. You know reference it and let's see. Go to Google and search or ask questions. Uh, good luck has every possibility to make sure that Boko Haram uh, was eradicated. But the northern elders, uh, the northern elders, the so-called gullible uh, northern elders that, that represent you and that you are representing on this uh, uh, comment session that you are telling us that uh, they need to probe uh, good luck Jonathan just because he did not, he did not buy ammunition, good luck both uh, wanted to buy ammunition and they are about uh, at, at, at the long run eventually he still bought uh, the uh, so-called ammunition because the northern leaders wouldn't want uh, the southern uh, to have a, a, a success and a complete uh, story when it comes when it comes to uh, presidency, uh, so they never wanted good luck to eradicate Boko Haram because they believe they are enjoying you know from the dividends of uh, insecurity. So well, I would like you to you know search and know what you are saying. Well, as it is, uh, you are a madman. This is what somebody is saying that we are talking about Buhari. Buhari is too big to appear before international community. What an insult to our best ever president uh, who deal with some uh, foolish youth that uh, who wants to give a well uh, dust to dust you will never see good in your life that is what somebody is referring to this person and as it is mm, i say uh, mr president may you uh, never see uh, the light of the day well because you have committed a whole lot of havoc well uh, if i continue to read uh, so many people are very very angry with the uh, buari and so uh, many are trying to side him and um, but i believe uh, those that are trying you know to even defend the uh, uh, buari who is defendless and who does not even know that they exist are trying to you know play to the gallery and i believe they have been paid uh, but notwithstanding this is where i'm going to draw the cousin i would like you to share your comments in the comment section thanks for listening and god bless you